Girls, where are we off to? We're going to all of these and the grocery shop. That's right. I didn't tell him to say that. We're and, we're, and, and, and if you want to see the chase test, stay here. That's right. And stay tuned. And, and stay tuned because we are we are so excited for you to watch our show. At the shop. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. All right, we're at all these. We have. We're gonna we're gonna get these crackers. Crash in aisle five. We're not gonna get marshmallows today. Did she just call you, Dwayne? All right. We got the Aldi brand Cheerios. What are you? We're not getting marshmallows. You guys crazy? Stop. So, okay, so we just finished at Aldi's, and that was exciting. Um, so what we plan to do for the taste test, we're going to run a shop right now to get like, the name brand items and to compare to the Aldi's items. So we got um, the Aldi's, Aldi's has some name brand stuff, but mostly its own brand. So we got their version of Cheerios, Ritz crackers, should I have my hands on the wheel? Um, Cheerios, Ritz crackers, granola bars, tuna, American cheese, and, and all Fig Newtons. What was the? Do we get anything else we want to compare? Oh, lemonade. We're gonna like we're gonna compare lemonade there. Lemonade mix. Lemonade mix. We're gonna compare that to Crystal Light. And do, 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 do. Some Ooh, cereal. lightning. My favorite. Cereal's your favorite? Yeah. Your favorite. Yeah, I want. I want to ask one more question. Oh, go for it, girl. And mm. yes, what would that be? We are gonna save one. Okay, so we're back from Aldi. We're getting ready for a taste test, and I was about to make the tuna salad. Um, I have the Aldi brand tuna, and I have chicken of the sea, but I realized I don't have any mayonnaise. I'm out of mayonnaise. And mayonnaise is not the most expensive thing in the world to buy, but I like to make my mayonnaise from scratch because it's very, very easy, and it actually tastes better, and it's fresh, and it's fun, and it's like a fun science experiment every time you do it. And I think this is pretty cheap, too, because it's an egg and some oil. And a couple other little things. So I'm going to show you how to make homemade mayonnaise in case you've never made it because it's easy. Now I had always thought that um, it was egg yolks and oil but with this particular technique you can use the whole egg. You can separate your egg um, whites and yolks if you want if you're using your whites for something else and just use the yolks but I'm just going to go ahead and use the one whole egg. And I'm using like a, like a Nutribullet kind of container. You need a container. So the egg goes in, and we're going to mix it up um, with our immersion blender, and this is like one of the best things ever to have um, in terms of kitchen tools. And also, of course, if you make your olive oil, uh, if you make your mayonnaise yourself, you can use olive oil. That's what I'm trying to say. And if you make your olive oil yourself, you can also use your own olive oil if you have, you know, an olive grove. I don't. Um, and this was actually Aldi's olive oil. And so to make this kind of slightly healthier mayonnaise, I'm going to use the olive oil. So we have our raw egg in there. We put our immersion blender down and kind of cover the yolk a little bit or completely. We try not to knock our immersion blender over and we take the lid off of our olive oil. And then with our immersion blender in there, and obviously, I'm not measuring too well here, but we just glug in some olive oil until I think it looks like enough, and it might be till the end yeah. of the container. No, honey, we're almost ready. Okay. Not ready yet. We have a very eager, eager beaver over there. See the eager beaver? You're excited about the taste test, aren't you? Okay, that's probably enough. All right, so I don't know. Maybe it's a cup, three quarters of a cup. I have no idea. But maybe 14. It might be 14 cups. I don't know. Um, so we're going to start the immersion blender going, and it'll start whipping up the yolk and the oil down at the bottom, and then you slowly raise your immersion blender up, kind of draw up the emulsion, and it blends it all draw. together if it, if it works. Uh, and I've. Autumn, you want to wait in the other room for a second? Go ahead. In the other room. 
Okay, here we go. Thank you, honey. All right, so we're going to start that. This, this is like the coolest science experiment ever. So, and you slowly, see how in the bottom it's already turning into mayonnaise. It's, it's emulsifying the yolk and the oil. And you draw it up slowly. You kind of mush it around when you get to the top because you want to make sure all your oil is blended in. And there you have the most amazing, fresh, homemade mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. And then you add mayonnaise. a little bit of salt. Mayonnaise. And you add either some lemon juice or some vinegar. So I'm throwing a little vinegar. And you add some mustard. And the recipes that I've seen have said to add a fancy Dijon type mustard. But you know I got my French's Daily Mustard for free with couponing, and so that's what I'm going to squirt in. So yeah, mustard is actually a component of mayonnaise. Ooh, we're at the bottom of it, aren't we? Alrighty, and we'll blend that in. And there you go. Homemade mayonnaise. So quick, so easy, so cheap. Healthy because we used olive oil. Okay, we are home. We are ready for our taste test. We have, I think, seven different items. Um, we're very excited about this. So we made our delicious mayonnaise that everybody loved to go in the tuna salad. So, Neve, which item should we start the taste test with? Um, Fig Newton. Okay, Fig Newton's lamb on us. All right, this is the first one we will each try. And think about how much you liked it, and then we're, we'll have the second one. I have it. Thumbs up for Fig Newton. You don't have to eat the whole thing, because we have to take a bite of the next one, too. Yeah. It's very ooey-gooey on the inside. Quite delicious, nice fig flavor. What do you think? Thumbs up, okay. All right, now try your second, and then we're gonna see which one you like the best. Oh, I need mine. Okay. Also thumbs up? What do we think of them in comparison? Is this one better than the first? Um, I, I, like, both. I like this one more. You like the second one better? How about you? Is the first one better or the second one better? The second one better? Very interesting. I kind of like the first one better. I don't tell you why. It's softer to me. And I find the fig filling in this one to have a grainier sort of texture. Awesome. Okay. Apparently, apparently that grainy texture did not bother Autumn um, or Neat. And so you both vote for this one. Okay. And, but would you eat this one? Did you enjoy it as much? Yes. Or is it iffy? I, I, like, I like them both a lot. All right, let's see what's what. We have our little labels underneath. All right, the first one we ate was the Aldi's brand. The second one was your traditional Nabisco Big Newtons. Bought at ShopRite, Nabisco. But look at this, the Aldi kind, 98 cents. Nabisco, $3.19. So, even though they report that they like the Nabisco better, $3.19 versus $98. <laughs> We're getting the Aldi's brand. Sometimes there are coupons for Nabisco products. I never seem to get them. I never, ever get the Nabisco coupons. I don't know why. I just, they pass me by for some reason. But interesting. So, the girls preferred the name brand. I preferred the Aldi's brand. Aldi brand is so much cheaper. So, which one are we going to buy? Um. Yeah, Autumn got it right. We're going El Cheapo. Unless we were able to coupon this down for free, which I never see happen with the Fig Newtons. Okay, number two, Autumn. What will be our next item to taste test? Cheese. The cheese. Daddy's passing over the cheese. Look at that classic. American Yum! Processed cheese type product. Alright, wait, we'll start with this one. Just everybody peel a little piece off. Or a big chunk off. Hold on, I'll pass it to you. Here, let me help you. Here. 
you. There you go. Blop of cheese for you. Blop of oh, cheese for you. I am not a fan in the least of American cheese, so my, yeah. my blop is going to be very small. I don't know. I uh, do not like it. You do not like that cheese. I'm going to feel that cheese like mine. I like it. I like it. Neve didn't like it. I can't say that I found it to have a whole heck of a lot of flavor, but that's American cheese for you. Pretty bland. Autumn gives it a thumbs up. I'm not. I'm not. Okay, hold on. You have to have your second piece of cheese because we're comparing. That's the taste test. Rip off a bit here, Autumn. Um, cheese number two. Again, I almost... It tastes good, too. Does it? I taste almost nothing again. I'm so used to stronger cheeses. It has no flavor. I don't like it. Okay, so Neve likes none of the cheeses. Even though grilled cheese sandwich with American cheese is her go-to item all the time, Autumn, who doesn't like grilled cheese anymore, likes both cheeses. I, who don't like American cheese, don't really care for either, but let's see what we have. I'm next. Can we? we got to do the big reveal. All right, the cheese, the second cheese was the Aldi 99 cent cheese type product imitation. The first one, we didn't actually get Kraft. We got the ShopRite brand because I already had it at home. And it was on sale. It's normally more expensive. It was on sale for $1.99. So the Aldi cheese was half the price. Can I have some more? And they seemed to enjoy them equally. One child disliked both. One child liked them both. And I thought they tasted like pretty much nothing. I didn't want some more. All right. You, yeah, go, girl. You have all the cheese I'm you want. Again, Aldi, perfectly acceptable okay, uh, and cheaper. All right. How about... Pick the lemonade because I need something to drink. No, lemonade. Okay, we are comparing Aldi brand powdered lemonade mix with Crystal Light. Name brand Crystal Light. And we have one of each and we're each going to take a sip. I like it. It has a nice sour lemony flavor. And oh, also because it, it doesn't really stay there that long. All right. Now, uh, oh, it doesn't stay in your mouth that long. Now compare. Mm, I like them both. I do too. I can't even tell the difference. I like them both too. Can you tell the difference? Uh, no. No, I can't either. All right, let's see. This was the Aldi brand. This was a dollar eighty nine. We have more cheese. Yeah, we'll have more cheese after. This is the Aldi brand for a dollar eighty nine, and they actually give you six packets in the container um, and each packet makes the same amount as the Crystal Light packet but the Crystal Light this, this is shop right. costs more at $2.49 and only has shop four right. packets shop right. more expensive less lemonade less expensive 50% more lemonade we're going with all these that's right that's all right, let's keep the lemonade nearby because I'm thirsty and we need to cleanse our palate in between courses, clearly. All right. Well, what shall we try next? I'm stirring. I'm stirring. What do you butter. Mean? Okay, it's peanut butter. Butter. Peanut butter. All right, everybody grab, grab your spoon. Wait, we're going to try one at a time. We'll all try this one first. Peanut the butter. I did not look at the bottom. I don't know. I don't even know if there's a tag on there because I don't feel one underneath. I like it. I do too. I'm just gonna look up my food in case in case I need it for. Okay, right, well you need it for the next paper. You're comparing them. Oh my god, I put stuck one. I like them both. I like them both too. Mm -hmm. Can you tell any difference? They taste exactly the same to me. I don't, I don't. Exactly. I don't have any more difference. All right. Let's see. That one doesn't have a label on it. That's why I didn't feel a label. This one is the Skippy, which means this is the Aldi's brand. And the Aldi's peanut butter was $2.89 for a huge container. And the Skippy, I think I got this on sale with a coupon for a little bit over a dollar for the much smaller container. I know. So really... All these better deals, Skippy, yum, but still, you can't, you can't be brand loyal. You can't, you can't. You're saving your money with all these. Here, do you want to have some peanut butter over there? Are you hungry, Autumn? 
Have a little peanut butter. Okay, Neve. We have Cheerios left, tuna salad, Ritz type crackers, granola bars. Yes, you did. I will pick there. There. That. Crackers? Mayonnaise? Yes. Yeah. Which would be the tuna salad. All right. Okay, everybody grab your fork. We're going to each try. Be careful of the lemonade. Oh, and the tuna here. Yum. Okay. Okay, on you try. Oops. Get a blow. Pretty tasty. You don't think so? You thinking about it? Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's a down. She is down on this tuna, no? Interesting. It's happening over there. The dog is making a thumping noise. Alright. Oops, keep your fork. Keep your fork. Here, tuna number two. I like that one best. Mm -hmm. Yes, but you can't see the label. Okay, okay so we had uh, a brief break there um, in that split second that you're not so aware of as we are, but um, we had to get more uh, memory on the camera. So while Daddy was tending to that, Autumn snarfed down all of this tuna salad. What did you say about it? Two thumbs up. And meanwhile, Nevi was going to town on her tuna salad, which was her preference. So let's Mom, see. It's actually this good. It's so good that the thumbs up are bouncing all around town. Okay. <laughs> it's this good. And yours is that. Okay. They love their tuna, but they did not like the same one. Autumn liked Chicken of the Sea. That's the name brand. And it was on sale for 99 cents, which is a, a price for tuna. Tuna is expensive because this is the white albacore. This was the Aldi kind, and it was actually more expensive because the Chicken of the Sea was on sale. So the Aldi tuna was $1.09. Um, and Nevi preferred the Aldi. Autumn preferred the name brand Chicken of the Sea, but what's interesting, um, they're both five ounce cans, but I could tell the Chicken of the Sea had less tuna in it for five ounces. They're both packed in water, and there was a lot more space taken up in the Chicken of the Sea can by water than the Aldi can. I could just tell when I was making the tuna salad that, that there was less tuna in the Chicken of the Sea. So it was a good price being on sale, but I don't know that we got as much tuna out of it. But <laughs> maybe the lemonade fountain there. Maybe, um, maybe there isn't that much Chicken, because it's chicken, tuna. Because chicken doesn't come from the sea. Chicken doesn't. Well, well, there you go. There's your explanation, folks. Chicken doesn't come from the sea. It comes. It comes from the chicken farm. Also, while we were on our brief hiatus there, we were uh, continuing to nibble away at chicken comes from Newtons. chickens. Right, chicken comes from chickens. We were nibbling away on our fig newtons, and then Miss Autumn said. Because remember, she voted for the name brand Fig Newton first. She said she didn't like it. She changed her mind. I don't so, know. All righty. Uh, three more things to go. What's next? Crackers! Crackers! Pass them over. All right. As you can see, I, I, I think they're identical. I can't tell them apart at all. At all. Wait, let's start with... I don't know which is which, but let's all do one at a time. Okay? It is your Ritz type cracker. What do you think? A little good. A little good. What do you think? Can we get your opinion of the first cracker first? That's the one that I like. Mommy, look my right. hair. You like the first one for Mommy, better? Mommy, look my hair. No, I like this one better. Mommy, the second look, one. my hair is diving oh. into the lemonade. Okay, okay. We're not going to do that because that's going to end up in a stove. And this, and this mm. is it. Okay, that's the second cracker? Mm -hmm. The second cracker was that much better. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, you want to try your second cracker? Mm -hmm. Hmm. They're both very good, but I think the second cracker is trying to do better, too. Not much. I enjoyed both. It might be a little saltier. This is... Also two thumbs up. What did you think of the first one? It was... Down? It's no. almost identical. No, it's. 
Kind of a half? It's that. Okay, I don't even know how to interpret that. Alright, let's see. This is the one you definitely like better. I'm not that's entirely that's sure of... That's because sometimes they have a little... If, if you they, like the name brand better than Nabisco. Cause, that's because I sometimes have little sandwiches with that. Yes, you do. Okay, so the Nabisco Ritz crackers were $3.49 and it was not a big box. I found that to be outrageously, insanely expensive. These are the all these Ritz type crackers, which were a dollar fifty-nine. That is an enormous difference. That's a huge savings. That means that means we're gonna get this kind. That means we're getting this kind. Hi. What is the coupon? Life's tough all the way around. There's no coupon. Okay. I think you like that kind. All right, we have two more items to go. Maybe will it be the granola bars or the oat cereal? Mm -hmm. Oat cereal. All righty. We have the Aldi's brand versus your name brand Cheerios. Here, let's try that one first. I still have cracker taste in my mouth. Are you go on? Actually, no. It went to a down. Tastes okay. There's not a whole heck of a lot of flavor. Mommy. Ish. Mommy. That's not free. Okay. All right. We're on to the second kind. On. No, we got it. Turn the cracker back with the oat cereal. Also down. Mm -hmm. You guys like Cheerios? Um, Maybe you just don't like them dry like this. They do taste pretty bland. What do you think? So you like them both the same, and you dislike them both the same, even though you've both been known to enjoy a bowl of cereal, of Cheerios, specifically. Okay, this one is oh, all the crispy oats, $1.49 a box. This one is, oh, I already didn't put a tag on that one because I already know what this one is. This, of course, is your name brand Cheerios. This is on sale right now. The smallest box, the smallest box of Cheerios on sale for $1.99, which to me is a lot for a very small 12 ounce box of cereal. But uh, being that it was on sale with a coupon and a digital coupon, we got the Cheerios for free. So you have your name brand Cheerios free, your Aldi brand $1.49. So if you can go free, you go free. But if you didn't want a coupon and you didn't get the sale, um, all these reliably low prices, high quality. One last thing to try, the granola bars, one of my favorites, a yum, a yum, a yum, a yum, a yum. Here they come. I wanted to try this. Oh, me too, baby. Here you go. Mmm. Yeah. Mmm. Yeah. Totally yum. Oh, it's a honey flavor. What do you mean, yuck? Are you crazy, girl? You don't like that. Mmm. I don't like it. This is... Where are you going? Honey, back to the test. You don't get dismissed before the test is over. Oh, you like it that much? So the yuck has turned into a yum? That crumbs on y'all face. All right. Oh, we both like it that much. Awesome. All right. Granola bar number two, take a bite. Granola bar number two, have a sample. Here we go. Not impressed with that one? Mm -mm. Do you like the first one better? What do you think? You like them both the same? Okay. First one that Nidhi likes better is the Aldi brand. Yummy! $1.39 box. This would, of course, yeah. be your name brand Nature Valley granola bar for $2.99. That is more than double. Though, there are sometimes coupon deals on Nature Valley granola bars, but usually it's 50 cents off of two boxes. It's not the best coupon in the world. Um, what you doing there, girl? I'm trying to craft this into two pieces. Mm -hmm. so, um, you like this one better? Alrighty, so we're winding it up. The great Taste test of 2017, Aldi versus name brand it has come to a conclusion. And what have we concluded? That you like some name brand things better, some Aldi brand things better, and Aldi basically has fabulous quality, 
and really good deals unless you're able to get your name brand stuff for free because you're an extreme couponer. Is that what we learned? Yes. Yeah. And we know the girls love tuna. Yeah. All righty. So, if you want, if you want to watch this video, just click down. Click here. down. Click. Hit down. the subscribe button. Hit the subscribe button if you want to watch Give us a more video. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Of of taste test. And if you want, if you want to watch more, click down below. Click down below. Don't even know if there's anything for you to click below, but as you can tell, they've seen some YouTube videos on taste testing, which is why they wanted to do this. All right, we will see you all again very soon. Bye. You're looking good. Bye. Bye. Bye.